Normally I don't do too many commentary videos about current events, but this is something that concerns me and all people of YouTube. I'm gonna do my best to express my thoughts on it. Keep it as short as possible. I've also provided links in the description with much more details and a lot more feedback. Do you guys remember back in the day, YouTube used to be pretty cool. With time, it produced millions and millions of dollars, then Google bought YouTube, which kind of fucked everything up. Ever since then, it's been overflowed with advertisements, commercialized, overhyped, high-budgeted channels, and beyond competitive amount of content produced by millions, some great, some not so great, not only by vloggers, but gamers, how-to channels, comedy, music, the list goes on. At first, anyone who's anyone could upload almost any kind of video. They can express their opinions, share music, provide entertainment and information with reviews, gameplay, critiques, and tongue-in-cheek humor and parodies and so on. Then something happened. What the fuck? Channels started getting attacked by false copyright claims, shutting down a video simply because they didn't like the video, or shutting down a video because it upset someone's ego about a movie or product they reviewed, or shutting down a channel for doing a response video with footage from that person's video. But what fucking choice do they have since YouTube eliminated the response video functions? So the only way they can make a response video is to provide footage or images or quotations to reflect that said video in which they are responding to. So the audience can understand their side of the story or their opinion, or shutting down a channel because their opinions are not considered politically correct or catering to different ideologies, political backgrounds, religious beliefs, dislike of certain fan bases of very sensitive people, opinions of disliking anything at all and expressing to people why you don't like it, then some Yahoo gets <laughs> butt hurt, hits that flag button, boom! Channel silenced, and they have to fucking wait up to a month or more before YouTube puts the video back up. Appeals appear to be automated now, no apologies for the inconvenience other than automated emails. And worst of all, no punishment or penalty for those who have falsely and unfairly flagged that channel or video. Since when did opinions and expressions suddenly have morphed into hate speech or copyright violation? If it's too fucking confusing for you, YouTube, allow me to narrow it down for you in 10 seconds. Copyright violation is when you upload someone else's video, content, or music all on its own and act like it's yours and don't credit them. Hate speech is when you make a video and say things like, we need to kill faggots because God hates them. There's something similar, preaching violence or bigotry blatantly to promote anger and actual physical violence from others. <sighs> no, I wasn't actually talking that fast, that was digital. Anywho. Granted, there are some types of videos that should be removed, like pornography, snuff, animal cruelty, child abuse, excluding the shit that you see on the news, things like that. Those don't belong here. My favorite channels, the highly opinionated yet intelligent, insightful, and funny channels have been struck repeatedly and suspended or even shut down altogether, silenced, for making reviews about movies, games, or showing a tiny clip of them, but with a voiceover critiquing and expressing opinions of it, and sometimes no reason at all, silenced, or even talking about about a movie on camera in your fucking car, talking about movies, silenced. Someone doesn't like it, they click on the flag button and claim that you are violating copyright regulations or producing spam. Are you fucking kidding me? Spam? That's all they have to do and you're fucked. And we're all wondering, what the fuck is going on? That's where this hashtag comes in. WTFU. No, that doesn't stand for what the fuck, you guys. What the fuck, YouTube. No, it means where's the fair use. If a movie company is displeased by some dork wearing glasses, ranting comically about a movie they said sucked, or even a movie they praise and say, go see it, it's awesome, or go buy it, doesn't matter. To them, they're presumably thinking, he shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's our movie he's talking about. Our money, shut him up, now. Yeah. Of course YouTube will appease the people that are worth more money. money. So fuck the guy in the glasses. He doesn't matter because he's not as big or relevant as the film company. Yet still somehow he poses a threat because reasons. Although his following is huge and people enjoy watching his videos, and his review actually makes people want to buy these movies. Even if they're bad, more revenues for the film company. Still, nah, fuck them. Or another channel will upload a comical or highly dry humored critique of someone else's video. That other uploader gets butt hurt and says, Hey, <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed to do that. That hurt my feelings. Shut them up now. I'm reporting this. Uh, sexual content now, uh, violent, not exactly hateful. Yeah, hateful and uh, infringes my rights. Yeah, and he mocked me and doesn't agree with me. Cyberbully. Can I click on all of these? Do, 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 do. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Ooh, I know what'll show him. Copyright. Copyright violation. A violation of my copyrights. Copyright? No, idiot. Copy wrong. Again, fair fucking use. Where is it? And what the fuck do we have to do in order to get them to listen? Look, there's a web page you can click on in the description to express your support. Hopefully, enough people talk about it. 
they'll start to listen to us. Like I said in my previous video, Twitter users are getting fucked in the ass by social justice thought police and shadow banners and dare I say fascists who want you to WATCH IT! because they can block you if they don't like what you say or post or ban you altogether, and they will. I should know, I've been blocked by people I don't even fucking know. Regardless of how harmless you think it is, if it's mentally harmful to someone, anyone with hypersensitivity and insecurities, they can banish, banish you, you from, from our safe, safe, safe space. space. Watch your mouth. Know your privilege. You don't agree with me? You should mirror up, have an like opinion, that? and yeah, find out heads. Shut him up! <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe, as long as you don't ruffle anyone's pussified, sensitive feathers. Celebrities are already leaving Twitter. They're like, fuck you guys. Problem is, now on YouTube, nobody is safe. No one. So what the fuck do we do? We probably need to express our outrage, but not inflammatory, but rather with logic, calmly. Try to reason with the situation. Try to get this working again, because now it's getting harder and harder for anyone to make fun videos, express opinions, entertain, anything. This applies to little channels that desperately want to be heard, and big channels that are already successful and people enjoy watching them, but they're being shut down. Respectable, hardworking channels that have to earn a living by doing what they're doing. These strikes completely fuck them financially. They do not deserve to be put on timeout or banned over a completely unjust reason. Please spread the word about this, because if we forget about fair use, we're forgetting about expression, and with expression is the other side of the coin, which is free speech. And as soon as we all forget what that really means, we're fucked. And I believe in free speech, and I want to make YouTube great again. Don't you? Thanks for watching, guys.